Welcome to the Rocket IPC Plural Drainage System in-service video. The Rocket system was designed to allow clinicians or other caregivers to safely and effectively drain fluid buildup from pleural effusions or malignant ascites when a catheter has been placed in the patient's chest or abdomen by their doctor. The Rocket IPC Plural Drainage System may be used with either Rocket or Plurex indwelling catheters. Drainage may be performed in a healthcare setting or at home, whichever is best suited for the patient's care and convenience. Before we begin, it's important to remember that you must follow physician orders regarding the frequency and volume of fluid drained. Improper fluid drainage can lead to negative patient outcomes, so always contact the ordering clinician with any questions. The Rocket IPC Plural Drainage System comes packaged as a sterile kit, which includes everything you need to properly drain fluid, as well as instructions on how to use the Rocket collection bottle. There are two bottle sizes available, 1,000 milliliters and 600 milliliters. Both bottles work exactly the same, providing suction to drain the patient's pleural or a peritoneal cavity. Apart from the collection bottle, inside the kit you will also find a blue sterile field, a pair of non-latex gloves, eight gauze pads, four alcohol wipes, a split foam catheter pad, a sterile clear view dressing, an emergency slide clamp, and two small sealed packets. All of the items included in the kit are sterile. One of the sealed packets contains a single large rocket catheter cap. This cap will be used if the patient's indwelling catheter looks like this. The other packet has a small catheter cap and an adapter that allows the Rocket IPC Plural Drainage System to be used if the patient's catheter looks like this. We will be showing how to use this catheter cap and adapter. We will not be using this catheter cap. Aside from the adapter, all other steps are the same for both catheter types. To begin the drainage procedure, start by thoroughly washing your hands with hot soapy water for at least one minute. Remove any jewelry that could puncture the catheter, such as rings or bracelets. Next, remove the dressing from over the patient's catheter. Gently peel back the dressing and uncoil the catheter, removing the split foam pad from beneath the catheter. If you notice anything unusual such as pain, redness, swelling, or free fluid, finish the procedure first and then contact the doctor or supervising nurse. After removing the dressing, thoroughly wash your hands again with hot soapy water for at least one minute. Now we're ready to start the drainage procedure. Make sure you have a clean, clear workspace, ideally a table or bench top. Open the Rocket IPC Drainage Kit Sterile Package. Remove the procedure pack from the kit and place it on your clean workspace. Leave the bottle in the bag. Take this time to review the instructions included in the kit. If you have any questions, consult with the ordering physician or supervising nurse before beginning the drainage procedure. Open the procedure pack by peeling the pouch apart. Inside, you will find a blue sterile field. Position this with the tape facing up. Carefully remove the tape and unfold the sterile field using only the edges or corners. Make sure the contents remain in the center. Now take the bottle from the bag and set it near the sterile field. Remove the tape securing the tubing. Place the access tip and sheath of the drainage line on the sterile field without touching the tip. If the sheath has fallen off in the package, make sure that you don't touch the tip with your ungloved hands or any other non-sterile objects. It is important that the tip remains sterile. Take a moment to examine the drainage bottle. The bottle comes pre-evacuated. The white slide clamp on the top of the bottle should be in the closed position, pinching the tubing to prevent any loss of vacuum from the bottle. The blue vacuum indicator should be completely depressed, indicating that the bottle is fully evacuated. If the indicator has expanded, discard the bottle and replace it with a new one. Due to the natural dissipation of vacuum over time, the vacuum level of the bottle will reduce over the lifetime of the device, which is indicated by the expiration date on the package. Next, put on the gloves, being careful not to touch the outside of the gloves. Pick up one glove by the inside of the wrist 
and place it on the opposite hand. Then repeat for your other hand. To ensure that the gloves remain sterile, please be careful not to let anything non-sterile, clothing, skin, or anything outside the sterile field come in contact with the outside of the gloves. Separate the contents for easier access. Peel open the packet containing the catheter cap and adapter and drop these into the center of the sterile field. Remember that the adapter will only be used if you are attaching the Rocket IPC drainage kit to a catheter that looks like this. Tear open the four alcohol wipe pouches, but do not remove the contents. Place these on the sterile field away from the rest of the items. Remove the access tip cover. Take the adapter and slide it over the access tip with the four prongs facing inward. Push the adapter and the drainage line together so the four prongs click into the drainage line and become secure. Then set the drainage line down in the sterile field. Now it's time to connect the Rocket IPC drainage system to the patient's catheter. Remove the catheter cap by rotating the cap counterclockwise and gently pulling. Then discard the cap. Using an alcohol wipe, gently clean around the outside of the catheter valve. Discard the used wipe. Pick up the drainage line of the bottle and gently insert the access tip into the catheter valve. You will feel a slight resistance, which is normal. Lock the access tip and catheter valve together by lining them up as shown and rotating clockwise. You will hear or feel a slight click. The drainage system and catheter are now securely connected. Do not use scissors or other sharp objects near the catheter. Keep the catheter valve clean and separate from non-sterile objects to avoid contamination. You are now ready to begin draining fluid from the patient. Hold the bottle and slide the white clamp to its open position. This releases vacuum to the rocket flow control valve. Gently press the button on the flow control valve to begin flow into the bottle. The flow rate can be controlled manually with the button or you may use the slider to set and hold the flow rate at a comfortable level. If the patient experiences pain or discomfort, decrease the pressure on the button to reduce or stop the flow. To increase the flow, depress the button further with your thumb or use the slider. While some discomfort is normal, especially starting or ending drainage, if the patient is feeling severe pain or shortness of breath, contact the doctor. Drainage typically takes 5 to 15 minutes. Slowing flow rate will signal that drainage is nearly complete. Once drainage has stopped or the bottle is full, release the button on the flow control valve to stop the vacuum. Rotate the drainage line counterclockwise and slowly pull the access tip out of the catheter valve. Use a new alcohol wipe to gently clean around the outside of the valve. Take the new catheter valve cap from the center of the sterile field. Place it over the catheter valve and rotate it clockwise until it clicks into position. Finally, record the date, time, and fluid volume in the patient's record. You're now ready to replace the dressing over the catheter. Clean around the catheter exit site with a new alcohol wipe. Place the split foam catheter pad around the catheter. Open the sea view dressing with the backing material facing toward you. The dressing features a numbered three-step application process. First, peel off the backing labeled one using the split in the center. Place approximately three pieces of gauze on top of each other in the center of the sticky material. Ensure there is plenty of space around the gauze. This will make it easier for you to apply the sea view dressing. Coil the catheter carefully into loops and place over the foam. Place the sea view dressing centrally, sticky side down, covering the catheter with the gauze squares. Ensure the clear dressing overlaps the foam square on all sides. Press down firmly. Remove both end paper tabs labeled two while continuing to smooth the edges. Then. Remove the cover sheets labeled three. Smooth and press the edges of the dressing, making sure that it's completely secure. 
The Sea View dressing provided with the Rocket IPC Plural Drainage Kit is water resistant and if placed correctly will allow the patient to wash, shower or bathe as normal. However, if water gets under the dressing and wets the gauze, the dressing must be replaced. The blue emergency slide clamp provided with the Rocket Drainage Kit is intended for use only in the event that the catheter tubing is accidentally cut or pierced between the catheter valve and the patient. If you accidentally cut or pierce the catheter, quickly pinch the catheter closed and slide the clamp between your fingers and the patient's body. Once the emergency slide clamp is in place, contact the patient's doctor or supervising nurse immediately. When the drainage procedure is complete, seal the bottle with the white slide clamp. Place the bottle and all other waste in a plastic disposal bag. Secure the bag and dispose in the garbage or as directed by your practice. Alternatively, the fluid may be drained in a toilet or sink and the bottle then placed in the trash. To drain the bottle, remove the blue plastic cap over the drain hole. Hold the bottle away from your face. Using the extended top of the cap, gently puncture the foil seal over the drain hole. You may now pour the contents into a toilet or drain if your practice directs this disposal method. You may wish to wear eye protection. Be careful to avoid any splashback. You should now be ready to perform the Plural Drainage Procedure using the Rocket IPC Plural Drainage System. Be sure to refer to the instructions included with the kit before starting the procedure and consult with your supervising nurse or doctor if you have any questions about this procedure.